What's up, people? I'm trying to contain some excitement right now. It, I, I don't know how to feel with what's going on. So, 2018, 2017. This year, gaming is just so fun, right? So I'm sitting here. I'm watching the Nintendo Direct, and I didn't expect much to be honest because it's like three months before uh, E3. So I was like, maybe we'll get an a Pokemon Nintendo Switch game teaser and or I thought maybe we get some Metroid Prime 4 gameplay snippet but we didn't necessarily get that all right so first let me let me talk about what they did have so they started they showed some Kirby for the Nintendo Switch which that Kirby game looked pretty fun it was pretty cool got King DDD, you got Meta Knight and the Kirby game, you, you know, you got all that cool stuff. Then they showed, uh, I don't, I don't know what else, they showed Splatoon 2, they showed a lot, of, oh, wait, they showed Mario, uh, Mario Tennis, which actually looked like a really good Mario Tennis game. And it looks like it has cool online, they have online tournament modes, they have some cool features, like, that, that game looked like it's gonna be fun. Then they showed a lot of Splatoon, this is where, like, maybe they lost some people. Because that is a although goddamn Splatoon shame. is a fun game, Holy it's not what fuck. people are looking at. And the Splatoon portion of really? the Nintendo Direct went off for about 10 minutes of a 30-minute Nintendo Direct. So That was a goddamn people were upset. fucking shame. Me, personally, I was a little bit disappointed, but I understood what was happening. Like like I said, there was about three months until E3. I knew about... I had an idea of what was going on. I wasn't sweating nice anything game. at all. I was like, you know, Nintendo is really going to drop a bomb at E3. So they showed their Splatoon stuff. They advertised a new DLC that's coming out. Uh, There's some Octo DLC that's coming out to add story mode and some more gear and things like that. And then, guy who's hosting a Nintendo Direct, I'm so upset I don't know his name, but he's like, "All right, that's all for today." And then the guy who was like in charge of the, Nintendo, the Splatoon portion of the Nintendo Direct looks at him funny. He's like, "What? That's all?" And then the guy's like, oh, you know what, die before you're right, I get there. I have one more thing to show, and I'm like, what could it be, fight. Pokemon, maybe, I was right, maybe they are going to show some Pokemon, or maybe they are going to show some Metroid, Every and then they showed this trailer, they showed this Holy video fuck. right here, which, so, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, more Splatoon, if they forget something, the DLC or something, and looking at it, like, it, it's a really well made video, And I'm like, why would they, why would they just, why would they do it like this? Why can't they show more Splatoon in the Splatoon portion? Then it goes dark, and I'm like, oh, so this is how they're gonna transition into Metroid Prime Four. Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch in 2018. I did not think that this game was gonna come out until like 2019 late. It's coming out in 2018. That's less than 12 months. What is going on? There's so many good games coming out this year. Nintendo, but in my opinion, like with this, all Nintendo has to do is just drop one more fire game. If they drop Metroid Prime 4 or Pokemon in 2018, then they won 2018 too, just like they won 2017. I'm sorry. It's incredible right, what's going on with the Nintendo Switch right now. And the Nintendo Switch, what Nintendo is doing with this console, the Nintendo Switch could be the best console to ever exist. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hyped. But maybe I will regret huh, saying those words, but now I'm not taking it back. Nintendo, I, when I say best, I mean most successful. It could be the best, most successful console to ever exist with what All they're right, doing with I'm this trolling. console. I thought so we were what does this mean? Fighting, though, man. Does this mean that Inklings are going to be in the new Smash Brothers? Probably. They also announced Crash Bandicoot in the same trilogy Fuck. for the Nintendo Switch. So will Crash Bandicoot be on the Nintendo Switch? Maybe. 
Is this a new Smash game or a Smash Brothers port? I don't think it matters. This I'm guy's happy 100%. With either does. Or. And that the way they set this whole thing up was so perfect. Nintendo, talent. I like that. Like I always say, Nintendo's out of touch with what people want or with how people see things. But the way they set this up was just so fantastic. They build up the hype. Like right. when are they gonna show something big? When are they so. gonna show something big? They ended up Dude, with Splatoon, fuck. a game that was already out, a game that they know people aren't too excited to see more news about. Like you could just see like, Splatoon <laughs> news anywhere. I was, I was still paying attention to my buy. And then they say, "Wait, we have one more thing." And then that they we started were back off with Splatoon. It's like, ah yeah. oh, man, more Splatoon. This is ridiculous. I don't want to see this anymore. What is this? And I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends were like, "Yeah, they shut the stream off at this point." And then. Smash Brothers right there. You have the Inklings looking up with It's like old guard looking or new guard looking the old guard uh, Nintendo's new fresh multiplayer game. They look up and they they're like this is the epitome This is where we want to be. This is the epitome <laughs> Super Smash Brothers. This is where we're heading right now. We're going into the big league That's when you know you made it as a Nintendo character when you're in Super Smash Bros, that's when you know when you made it as a character in any game. If you're in Super Smash Brothers, if Nintendo decides to put you in this game, you've made it. We'll just chill here. I'm excited. Outside. I want to see Wolf in Smash Brothers. I want to see Snake come back. I hope Cloud stays. I hope Bayonetta stays. I hope Bayonetta ch gets changed a little bit though, because you know, uh, wish time out. is a little iffy. But man, and in 2018. This is incredible. Thank you, Nintendo. This is King Dove 7 well, signing off.